Hello friends, welcome to my 30 inch YouTube channel. I already uploaded Samsung Galaxy A03s top 10 tips and tricks two videos. After these videos, lot of friends request me please create new top 10 tips and tricks on A03s mobile. So, this video is for you. If you are new visitor on my YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so you can get a notification after publishing my future videos. If you are using Samsung Galaxy A03s mobile or Samsung A series mobile, I think this video is very helpful to you. Let's learn our first tip. How to enable edge panel on Samsung Galaxy A03s mobile? If you enable this edge panel, you can open your important applications easily. Let's learn how to enable this. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to display option. You can enable this edge panels option. After you can view this small icon on your mobile display right area. You can swipe it like this. After you can open this edge panel applications. If you want to open all applications using this edge panels option, click on this icon. Now you can view your all applications. If you want to customize this edge panel, click on this pencil icon. Now you can add or remove applications to this edge panel bar. Now this is applications area only. We can add more panels to this option. Click on the settings icon on middle area. After you can view these all panels. If you want to add peoples, you can add task, smart, select, whether more panels have on this area. After the selection, you can press your back button. Now you can swap your edge panel like this and we can open these other panels. I think this is very good feature to open your imported applications easily. Let's learn how to change call background. We can add the photo or video on our call background area. Let's learn how to do this. Open your dial pad icon. After click on this three dots icon on top right corner. Go to settings. Now click on this call background option. This is default background video. We can add our custom photo or video. Click on this background option. If you want to add this second video, click on it. After you can see a preview like this. If you want to add this video as your call background, click on this set as call background option. If you want to add your custom photo or video to this call background, click on this plus mark on top right corner. After you can select a custom photo or video on your mobile gallery. In this method, you can add your custom photo or video on your call background. I think this feature is very helpful to you. Let's learn how to enable or disable double tap to screen on off option. Now I double tap to my mobile home screen. Now screen is going to off. If I want to turn on my screen, I can double tap it again. Now you can see my screen is turned on. Let's learn how to enable or disable this feature. Go to your mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to advanced features option. Go to motions and gestures option. You can see here double tap to turn on screen and turn off screen. Two options are available. Now I already turned on these two options. If you like this feature, you can enable or disable it. Let's learn how to use side key option. Now I press my power button in two times. After you can see my camera is opening. If you want to open another application using this side key, we can customize it as we like. Let's learn how to enable this side key option. Go to your mobile settings. Go to advanced features option. You can see here side key option. Click on it. Now I already enabled this side key option. Now, if I press my side key on two times, my mobile camera is going to turn on. The default setting is quick launch camera because in here I select quick launch camera option. If you want to open another applications, you can enable this open app option after you can select an applications in here. Now I select gallery. Now I press my side key on two times. 
Now you can see my mobile gallery is opening. I think this is very good feature to use some mobile easily. Let's learn file manager recycle bin. Do you know your A03s mobile has file manager recycle bin? If we drill some file on file manager, it is moved to recycle bin. Let's learn how to enable or disable this file manager recycle bin option. Open your mobile file manager applications. After click on this three dots icon on top right corner, you can see here recycle bin option. Now my mobile recycle bin haven't any files. Now I already enabled this recycle bin option. Let's learn how to disable this. Click on this three dots icon and go to settings. Now you can view here recycle bin already enabled. If we delete some file on our file manager, it is going to recycle bin. After 30 days, it is going to delete permanently. If you want to delete files permanently without move to recycle bin, you can turn off this recycle bin option. Now I'm going to turn off this. Now if I delete a file on my file manager, it is going to delete permanently. Let's learn how to view notification history without using any third party applications. We can enable notification history on Samsung Galaxy A03s mobile. If you receive WhatsApp messages, Telegram messages or any notifications, you can view this using notification history option. You don't want to open notification received applications. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings. Click on this notifications option. Scroll down this page and go to advanced settings option. You can view here notification history option. Click on it. You can turn on this feature. Okay, now if you receive notifications, you can view all notifications on here. I think this is very important feature to you because example, if your friend send a WhatsApp message to you after he deleted it for everyone, now you cannot see which messages he sent to you. If we already enable this notification history option, we can view your friend messages on this notification history area. So I think this is very good feature to you. Let's learn how to add dynamic wallpapers to your Loki screen. We can add randomly change beautiful wallpapers to your mobile Loki screen. Let's learn how to do this. Go to mobile settings, scroll down this page and go to wallpaper option. Click on this wallpaper services option. You can enable this dynamic Loki screen option after press this apply button. Now you can download this any dynamic lock screen category. Now I'm going to download this landscape wallpaper collection. Okay, it's downloaded. Now you can see randomly change colorful wallpapers on your mobile lock screen. I think this is beautiful feature to customize your mobile. Let's learn how to remove animations and speed up your mobile. Now I open some applications. You can see a small animation preview on these applications. Let's learn how to remove this animation. Go to mobile settings. Scroll down this page and go to accessibility option. Click on this visibility enhancement option. Now you can enable this remove animations option. Now I enable it. Okay, after again I open some applications. Now you cannot see a animation preview. It is opening very fastly. In this method, you can speed up your mobile. Let's learn how to enable or disable screenshot toolbar. Normally we can take a screenshot by pressing volume down key and power button on same time. So we can see the notification toolbar on our mobile bottom area. If you want to hide this toolbar, we can hide it. Go to your mobile settings, scroll down this page and go to advanced features option. Click on this screenshots option. In here, you can disable this screenshot toolbar. For screenshots, more options are available here. You can enable or disable this as you like. If you want to change your screenshot file format, you can change it on here. Now I am using JPG format. If you want to change it to PNG, you can change it. Let's learn how to enable swap to call or message option. Now I open my mobile dial pad and I move to recent apps tab. 
this is example number now if i want to get a call for this number i can sub this number to right side like this after the call is starting if i want to send a message to this number i can sub this number to right side like this now i can send a text to this number this is very useful feature to do our works easily i will tell you how to enable this sub call or messages option go to mobile settings scroll down this page and go to advanced features option scroll down this page and click on this sub to call or text option you can turn on this feature after you can sub a contact or number to right make a call and left to send a message i think this is very useful feature to you okay these are the top 10 tips and tricks on samsung galaxy a03 s mobile i think this video is very useful to you if you want to learn another top 10 tips and tricks, you can visit my channel. I already created Samsung Galaxy A03s top 10 tips and tricks 2 videos. You can watch the videos on my channel. If you want to learn more tips on Samsung Galaxy A03s mobile, you can join with our channel. I already uploaded more tips and tricks videos on my channel. If you like this video, please press the like button, add your comments and subscribe our channel. Let's meet on our next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.